Hey, I wanted to show how easy it is to set up a rain barrel system and using a regular sump pump or, or any type of a water water pump system. Um, I think every house in America should have a rain barrel. It's it's so easy to set up. You can get a 40 gallon drum, 50 gallon drum for free or, or very cheap. Set it up under your roof, under the eave, um, under the downspout. You can have a, a fancy cover with the downspout plumbed directly in there and you can Put a valve in the bottom and just let gravity uh, flow the water out to water your garden. Or you can set up a sump pump here if you don't have a lot of time to let let the water flow. Um, it, it's kind of amazing. The EPA just did a study, and every, the average American household uses 48 gallons per day to water their lawn and their trees. And it's nine billion gallons a day that Americans are using to water water their lawn. It's just pretty ridiculous, and it's you know just throwing it away pretty much. Um, so if you equate that to a rain barrel system, say a thousand square foot house, with every inch of rain, that thousand square foot house can collect 600 gallons of water. So say in Minnesota, on average per month in the, in the spring and summer, we get two and a half inches of rain per month. So that's 1,500 gallons per month if you take that divided by 30 days, that's 50 gallons a day. So <laughs> the math works out perfectly almost. In our area, you can collect 50 gallons a day off the roof and the average American house uses 48 gallons to uh, water their lawn. So I, I just think um, it's a real simple, easy thing to do. So I just got a basic sump pump here and I'll show you the setup. You can find a sump pump pretty cheap or free anywhere. You can get a, a reducer basically that goes from the threaded output to a regular garden hose and, and they, sump pumps have a, a float switch so when the water comes up the switch will turn on the pump automatically. So you could have this real fancy and have it on a timer. So um, whenever you want to water your line the, the timer actuates the electronics and turns on the pump and the float will turn off, basically turn off whenever it's out of water. Um, so I'll just show you my little setup here. I just got, got it on a, on a hose so I can lift it out. And you know, I haven't set this up, totally set this up yet, but that's um, the average, like a 25 foot hose, half inch flows uh, at 40 psi flows 24 gallons a minute so you know you could experiment with different size tanks and have a big underground tank that'd be really you know so it wouldn't be obtrusive and you wouldn't be able to see it um, but we'll uh we'll test this out and see how long i don't have much of a lawn here but we'll kind of let that flow and Real easy setup. You could, you know, plumb in uh, irrigation system under the ground. Have the garden hose or a, or a PVC pipe plumbed um, in the ground with sprinkler systems, however we wanted to do it. But works pretty good. Try it out. 